Hey everyone, welcome back to Rust Buddies. This is Richard. And Noah. Today we're gonna walk you through one of the most stressful parts of this build. Uh, we're getting ready to separate the body from the chassis. And the way that we did this by no means is it safe, uh, but it is proof that we're doing this in our backyard. So up to this point, we've already removed all of the nuts and bolts uh, holding the body to the chassis. And we are going to use two jacks one on each side in the front along with an engine hoist in the back to suspend the the body from the chassis so what we're doing here is we are taking out the old chassis that the metro has and you know we thought for a while me and my dad how do we do this how can we take the chassis out well we came up with a solution to that and I would like to share that with you guys because I'm sure a lot of you are having the exact same trouble that we had Which is how do we get the body off the chassis? We thought of many ideas, you know, we thought maybe we could use a forklift um, Well, none of us have a forklift license. We thought maybe we could use an A-beam and lift it up from the front um, The Metro is too tall for an A-beam. We thought maybe we could use a lift well, the Metro wasn't really in moving condition, so the problem there was, how are we going to get it to the lift? So, you know, we devised our own solution, and I must admit, our solution is a little sketchy, but we didn't have all the fancy tools to do what exactly what we wanted to do. So what we did was, we got a couple blocks, um, I'm sure you can see it in the corner, and then we put a jack over the blocks. We put a red metal bar in the middle so we have something to jack onto and in the back we're using an engine hoist to lift up the back of the metro so we welded a metal piece in the back so we would have something to hook onto with the engine hoist so when we welded that we used that to jack up the back we jacked up the back and that was all good we were using the mach 1 our mustang to tow the metro out because we really didn't have anything else to tow it with so the reason we took the wheels off the chassis is because we needed all the height we could get we needed to be as low as possible so we could slip that chassis out as easy as possible so we put some uh rollers under the drums that way it would roll out easier and you know we didn't have a very big you know concrete so we had to put some wood on the floor so we could drag it out it was still pretty rough even with the wood uh as you can see here you know we had to jack it up with the wood we had to smush the wood on the floor it was a very very rough experience to get that chassis onto the wood in the grass it was pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie, with the body being up there in the air with really nothing to support it other than the two jacks that we have on the sides. Um, you know, it could have fallen any minute if one of those jacks gave out on us and you know what, that would be the end of the Metro project and that Metro would probably be in the scrapyard right now. But luckily that didn't happen. The rollers didn't really wanna cooperate with us. It was a big struggle to get those rollers to cooperate, but you know, you, we needed all the length down we could get. We needed it as low as possible. We could slide that out easier without any problems. And you know, at the end it, it worked. All right, so I know what everybody's thinking up to this point. Why are you changing the chassis? And why didn't you just push the metro further back and utilize the concrete that's already there to make it easier to move the chassis out? And the answer really is simple. The chassis is old, the parts are hard to find, and I couldn't even get the brakes to come loose. It was difficult enough to unload it from the trailer the night that we brought it home. Uh, and after getting it to the house and unloaded, I tried to fiddle with the brakes a little bit, but it just would not come loose. So we had to kind of make do with what we had and where it was. So this was our solution, right? And so yes, it is a little sketchy and I, I'm sure you can tell in the video, I am a little stressed. Uh, I even got a little, a little bit worked up with Noah uh, because it was, it was dangerous. Uh, and, and you could see the Metro rock back and forth a few times. And I kept telling Noah, don't get underneath the Metro. It was very dangerous to see. Uh, and so uh, we, we basically pulled it out and we got it out and so mission accomplished, but it was definitely stressful, but worth it. We get to have a modern chassis underneath it. 
uh, relatively inexpensively. And if something were to go wrong in one of these long road trips that we plan on taking, we can basically go to the auto parts store, tell them that we have a 2000 Chevy uh, S10, and they'll be able to get us any suspension part along with uh, any 350 engine or 4L80 E parts um, to get it back on the road. So that's one of the big reasons for doing this chassis swap. Guys, 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 the Metro just fell down. We're so lucky we put these tires here. Um, we're going to play a clip on the screen from what we had it before, but the Metro fell down on these tires. And we had these tires just in case it fell. If you guys, uh, I mean, I probably played the clip already, but we had it here on the engine hoist. And I guess the engine hoist just gave up and it stopped, you know, supporting the body of the Metro. So it has fallen. Thank God we put those wheels there cause this would be bad. Okay, well, just want to update you on that. Bye guys.